Two new maps are coming into the maple in a week, but one is Breeze after it changes, which are huge and that's why it's gonna feel like a new map. So let's talk through, through the changes and how they will affect the gameplay. Hello everyone, welcome to Lotus Lab. This time about map changes, um, Breeze is, uh, is getting an overhaul completely. So what is gonna be happening here? First, we're gonna, on Valor and Twitter, we're gonna, ch we're gonna check the um, screenshots and we're gonna put in Epic Pens, we're gonna draw on it. So what they're saying is that mid is gonna uh, like completely change. Like look what's happening here. Typically, you have two ways of going from mid, right? Right and left, all right. But with the new changes on Breeze, this completely changes the way that you're going to approach the mid. You're able, if I'm not mistaken, to see the drop, so the window on mid, if you jump up on those boxes. And you can only peek from this one location. So you're going to be standing here in this spot, which allows you to, well, be pre-fired, but also you're allowed to take a gunfight on the window area. Now... But the bigger difference is that this actually affects how you will approach mid because you are more free to t take the control of pillar and use the utility from here because you can you can only focus on the double door from now on and double door also is changed so this will literally change everything about how we played breeze just this one change because that's how much it affects the gameplay. You're going to focus on double doors. You're never going to have to worry about someone playing for your left, right? Because when you typically were attacking mid, you go from here. You have to focus on double door. You have to smoke off double door to just focus on the left side. And then you can still be swung because someone is just faster and better timed with a teammate from double doors. Right now, this will affect positively the attackers by a huge margin. Now, the thing is, though, that because of that... I'm not sure actually how it will look from the other side because we didn't see... Oh, okay, here we go. So from the other side, this actually creates a um, a cubby that the defenders can be in, right? And remember, this can be checked if you go here because you can jump up and check this angle. But uh, like the timings, something that we're going to have to check is going to be... Um, I would say that from my... Imagine what's my imagination saying here the play the defenders are gonna have definitely more time to go here into the cubby before you're able to silent jump on this if you run up and you just jump up while doing noise you're gonna be faster than this player in the cubby so he's gonna probably be around this area over here when he's shifting that would be my assumption because he has to go through tunnel uh so you're able to be faster than him if you just fully run up and do noise but if you're not gonna do noise then you're gonna be slower than the player in the cubby and if i'm not mistaken the player uh that is gonna be in double doors is gonna have not is not gonna have a 50 50 angle for this cubby so let's gonna let's check that actually let's think about that first wait where is it here so let's let's look at this so See, this has changed. This is completely changed. This is actually, uh, I was wrong. This is actually a 50-50 because the angle of the boxes is different as well. Right? See this? How they change the angle? So this literally creates a crossfire for here in this way. That means that you're able, like, you're not able to just swing without utility and expect good results. You're going to have to use uh, utility to make sure that you're not gonna get peaked from 50-50s, like over here. So this is a good change. Like, I, I feel like walking up to mid allows you to be more, um, like, conscious about the decisions here that you need to check, what you need to check, and how you use your utility. I like this. this is all, those, are, those are all good changes. And then we have B changes. Old wall and the new wall. That's also a very good and welcome change for the attackers, actually, because you don't have to worry about the positions over here so much. And also, damaging utility just gets premium value, because now you can use one molly for this area. Well, definitely Gecko molly it will do its job, right? But you can use, like, one molly to essentially get an angle on the player here. So this is very important. Standing in this area over here is not going to be as safe as it was before. Typically, you would just 
have this covered. Like, if there's a molly here, you just stand over here. If there's a molly here, you just stand here. And you're never exposed to anything. But right now, when this is going to happen, you're going to be exposed to sight. So this is actually a very, very, very big change for attackers on the B side. And it's a huge nerf for this position. But also, pay attention to this wall. This is changed completely. Like, what the hell? So, this is definitely spammable. And you're able to essentially put the spike in default and then spam through the wall, kind of similarly to Pell in Postplant. You know? So, that's kind of interesting. But in general, all those changes are positive for the attackers, not for the defenders. Because if you think about it this way, if you play in this area in elbow, how do you escape? You can't. You're just literally stuck in this area. So unless you play Jet, Raze, um, Chamber, Yoru, you literally are really in danger if you play in this corridor. Holy crap, holding B is gonna be a horror for so many agents. Oh my. Yeah, this is going to be really tough. This is going to be really, really, really tough. Ah, wait. Well. Okay, that that actually helps it a little bit. I forgot that there's the box now here. So you're able to like play a little bit here. Like in this area. And be less exposed. This is not spammable for sure. This is brick. So unless you have an... Maybe with Odin. I don't... I, I doubt it though. It's too thick. So I don't think you can shoot through this. But still, like, this is not that easy uh, to play with. And if you're standing this, in this, on this box, you definitely can just get killed through the wall here. And there's a box that you can stand up top of, top of here. All right, so you can just jump up like this and reposition or, like, be on the box here and reposition over here. But this is a very risky position for the defenders. Like, really, really risky position for the defenders. Hmm. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea right now how would I how would I play it. Like probably just from the broken broken wall on B side. Like that'll be my default, or from literally just pillar. Like literally from here. From pillar here, and then maybe repositioning towards here after first contact. But only if a character has flashes or smokes. Oof. It's gonna be rough. Like defending B is gonna be rough right now. Alright, then big change on A-hole and mid-doors. I mean, sorry, A-hole. Like, you're not able to go through here. And I don't think any kind of utility, like TPs from Yoru or TPs from Omen, are able to go through this because this, this gap is not big enough. We're gonna have to check it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So this is like, if you stand in this corner here, like on the other side as an attacker, you take the rope and go up here, this is actually a waste. Right? I'm assuming the other entrance is blocked as well. So you're not able to like just go here. And this is not something that you can open. Right? So this essentially like completely changes the way you play the game. Because you just can only hold it. But there's no point in holding this as a defender. Is this is if this is not like openable, then there's no point in holding this. Like, this is very weird. Like, why on earth would you, would you even sacrifice a player in this spot? So, a defender can stand over here, open the doors, and essentially be in this spot all the time. And I'm assuming, since you can't go here, you don't really have to worry about anything. And I don't think there's a, there's the drop still. Because, yeah, this is, this is completely changed. See? There's only one entrance here. There's no other entrance. It's completely changed. So, there's no, there's no vent. No one can go vent anymore. This is a good position for the defenders right now, and w wasting a player here is going to be awful for the attackers. There's no point. There's no point in going as an attacker here, so this is very interesting, actually. So it seems like B is getting nerfed for the defenders, A is, gonna, a is getting um, buffed for the defenders, because you don't have to worry about, uh, about the corridor. Shop is completely revamped. Easier to, like, get into contact... Like, this is crazy. There's no cave anymore. <laughs> it's literally 
It, this this is the only way of going into A. So you can just one way over here and you stop the entire execute. Unless you smoke under it, of course. But ranked players are not smart enough to do that. So literally, one way smoke here as an omen. Maybe even as a brim. Right now, brim could actually be playable now when I think about it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a huge nerf for the attackers. And think about it this way. Killjoy and Cypher value goes through the roof right now. Because you're not getting pushed from multiple angles. It's just one angle. This is crazy. Yeah, this is, this is crazy good for the defenders. Crazy good for the defenders. You can one way as well with a flash like over this. Right? So you can literally like sky flash like this. Fully flash everyone. And not flash yourself. Yoru as well. Like this is crazy, crazy good for the defenders. And then we have the pyramids. That are, I actually like this change. This is more... I, I think the change here... First, we can have callouts now. Instead of left and right titties. We have shrimp and lobster. Sorry, shrimp and crab. Shrimp and crab, right? But also, another thing that is changing here is the... Um, is the height of the pyramids. So right now, as you can see here, like this will, if I'm not mistaken, will not get you killed when you're planting and when you're like up, standing up because the angle is, tight, uh, is, is, is not as tight. You know? Like, see. This will be the angle when someone's standing there, right? Look how big of a difference this is. So you can't really just like... Can't get exposed as easily. So it's easier to stand behind pyramids as well. So this is a buff for defenders too. All in all, I really like the changes. I really like the changes. And they're gonna change completely the game, entire game. It's more defense based right now, I think. Apart from B. So B should be preferred as an attacker's... From the attacker's perspective. That would be my assumption. All right, well, we're going to do more videos about Breeze once we're going to play it. But those are my initial impressions about what's happening here. Love you all. See you guys uh, during the next episode. I, I'm 100% certain you can still get here with a jet updraft or a chamber uh, TP on the top of the uh, pyramids. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time.